Matthew, how's that game pretty well in your hand, holding it in your hand, those 10 minutes of that last quarter, what went wrong? Well, we had probably more opportunity than that too. I thought, you know, coming to three quarter time, we, we, we felt we were in a great position. Um, we put it to them for <clears throat> eight to 10 minutes um, and they stood up to their credit. So, that, you know, give credit where it's due. Their, their backs were really strong. They Too many intercept marks today. Our, our front third <clears throat> efficiency was really poor. Um, you know, and even in that third quarter, when the game opened up a little bit, um, I felt like oh, we, we had a chat post game. We felt we had our opportunities, you know, where we almost had an out number inside our forward 50 and we just weren't able to complete the play. So, as you said, yeah, one, one we felt slipped away. But a credit to our opposition, they were they were solid all day. They probably played the game on their terms in the first half, um, and then when it counted, they stood up at centre bounce. I think we went down one six at clearance in the last ten minutes of the game, and, and that was the difference. We were coming from our back fifty, and we just weren't able to get it done. Do you think you played it at the pace you wanted to? As you mentioned earlier in the week, you wanted to play at a slower pace. Uh, no, not necessarily. We we like to, depending on where the game's at, we like to, you know, play the scenario. I thought our guys did that quite well. I thought the contest was um, was a good one today, even though it won't be one that they'll put in the archives. The game, it, I thought both teams went hard. We had our opportunities inside. We had first possession at stoppage, and we fumbled. You know, on the day, our our lack of execution and our our fundamentals were just off. You know, we were off about five percent today. And unfortunately, at this level, you, you get exposed and results don't go your way when, when you do that. They had a number where they came out the front of stoppage and it was off the back of our fumble um, or our turnover, unfortunately. It put our backs under a lot of pressure and I, I thought our backs, you know, at times to, today, were great. I, th I thought you know, they held up, um, they fought it out. Um, in the end, it was just too much. So it made you rethink how you set up your forward, forward six? You no. Did you rethink that one or and go with that and change it up a bit? No, no, we, we won't make too many changes off of that. We'll, we'll go and work on the areas we need to work on. And one of those is uh, our ability to execute. Um, and they're, they're small things you have. We, we, you know, the young group, we train, we talk about it a lot at training, finish the play, finish the play. Um, and at the time, sometimes, you know, you, a young group will just think, no, it'll be all right. Well, yeah, maybe we're training some poor habits there. That we, we'll get better at that um, we'll learn from today but you know being able to put scoreboard pressure off and finish off opportunities and, and execute well they did that better than us today they, they executed when they had their chances and we didn't was that the first kind of sign of fatigue from the young groups this season in a way um, well, I mean no not fatigue yeah, you could look at it from a, a point of view of did we not quite get the game where we wanted it early um were we challenged? We, we, I, th I felt at three quarter time we had a good energy amongst the group, and as we as we just spoke about, we we went for ten minutes. We went hard. Um, unfortunately, it was going at a brick wall at that point. They were, they were rock solid back there, and some of our our contest ahead of the ball wasn't where we needed it to be. And uh, we'll work on that. We'll continue to work on that. But credit to to Freo. I thought they were pretty strong back there. Is it the composure going forward that you're critical of, or the, or the system, or both? No, it's across the board. It's across the board today, and it's and, and I'm not critical. I'm just, um, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of what they put out there because the effort was there, the intent was there. We just we lacked the fundamentals today. We were we were a little bit dirty with the ball, um, you know, missed handballs, uh, fumbles at stoppage after we had first possession. And, and what that does is it puts you on the back foot. You know, we like to play an aggressive style in and around the contest and we like to get at the game. And you know, if we're not clean, well, the ball's going out the other way. And, and Frio were cleaner than us today. It's still a big tick on the way you're tackling, though. That's intense tackling that the boys are showing that. Yeah, yeah. And then both teams bought it. You know, that was a, it was a game where both teams were tackling well. They've got a, um, they've got a strong midfield. We, we said that coming in. Um, you know, massive amount of respect for the players they've got in there, both old and and young. Um, so they bought some they bought some heat, but at times it, it wasn't necessarily their pressure that undid us. It was our lack of our lack of execution. You said during the week, um, one of the areas you were a bit concerned about was the full ground um, 
full ground defence. How yeah. still concerned after today? How do you think? I guess you went. The team went in that regard. Yeah, it's a hard one for us to now monitor. Yeah, you know, when you look at the way we played the game, and maybe we weren't quite there. We're not quite full 100% today. Just a little bit off. It's. I want to be careful not to jump it any of the numbers that will come out at us. It'll be something that we'll continue to work on. It's not It's not a, f- a fix overnight, that one. Um, yeah, we had some, some really strong defence at times during the day. I thought our guys were, were pretty switched on in that space. Uh, as I mentioned before, I thought our backs held up really well considering the amount of times they had sort of a 1v none coming at them. Um, again, it's a, it's a small work on for us, a small work on we'll continue to look at. From a lot of the game last week to make the fundamentals, the execution you talk about, was until the last quarter was an issue. Is that a, something that can be turned around pretty easily? Yeah, that's that's getting skin on the ball. That's our guys doing more and more work. <clears throat> something we did over pre-season, something we've we've kept up with week after week, and we just need to now ramp that again. Just get as many footies in our hands as we can. And the challenge that comes with that is backing up, you know, in seven days and. I think we're seeing it across the league at the moment. There's a there's a lot of sore players, you know, in teams. Um, the game's longer than what it was last year. There's less rotations than what than what there were last year. They started pre-season after Christmas. Most sides, officially, as a structured pre-season. So there's a, there's a challenge that comes with that. And our guys are now you know working on recover all week, but get enough skin on the footy, like touch as much footy as you can. Uh, we clean up some of that stoppage and some of our skill errors today. I, I feel like we come away with the result we're after. Just uh, was, so I was going to say, Tex yeah. looked strong early, but he looked like he might have been camp, uh, hampered by that calf. Like, is he a bit sore at moment? I think most are a little bit sore, but um, at this point, nothing medically. I think he got through the game and, and yeah, was pretty strong and solid. And we had a few coming in that we, we weren't sure of. They, they got themselves right. and yeah, You get a nice seven-day break, it helps you try and turn things around. Um, we're always cautious with that, taking too many in that might be at risk. You know, we can't afford to lose them in games. But no, Tex was Tex was solid again. It, it's that polish, um, that delivery, that final piece of you know what is a nice piece of ball movement where we we can expose the opposition. We just didn't quite finish that off today. And sometimes Tex is on the end of those. Um, sort of where it ended up. Um, Rory Laird, look. Shoulder check, AC joint, how's he yeah. going along? No, he's, he's fine. It was a stinger. So um, obviously he'll be assessed in more detail, but I think he just got a little bit of a stinger. Is the report uh, that I've got so far. So, you know, fingers crossed that's, that, that'll be fine going forward. I'll just ask about Monday, obviously a 35-year-old, so influential in the last quarter. What sort of headaches does he present <laughs> an opposition coach? I mean, the, the way, I guess, the way he's, he used the ball and makes it in dangerous yeah. spots is just so hard to contain. But, yeah, just as a... He's your migraine, not a headache. He's Yeah, he's just, I mean, respect. It's experience. There's no doubt he leads on field. Um, as I said, their midfield's extremely strong and, and he's... Uh, you know, a big part of that. Um, experienced player, probably leads that group really well. I, I, I don't know them well, but I, I imagine he does. And today he was he was big, not only with the ball in his hands, but but also the, with his tackle pressure. I don't know what, how many tackles he had. I think, but they you know they matched out our tackle pressure today. That was a, it was a really good battle in there. Again, just the just the cleaner ball. They were cleaner with it. He was one of those. They're a pretty, very young team as well. Does that kind of do you show? Does that kind of show you know the next step that um, your team has to make going forward? And I guess the, the kind of cleanness of the ball, you know, the way they're able to win the midfield, the midfield. Yeah, well, I mean, we'd like to perform and, and be cleaner with the footy week in, week out. We've we've been you know, pretty solid in that space up until till this week, and this was one where right across four quarters we were we were not quite right with our skills. Not quite right, but I've, you know, if you look at the first month, um, you know, it's been an area that we've been you know, reasonably strong in. Last week v North, we had a couple of quarters where you know, North got on top of us, but that was North bringing in the heat. That wasn't so much our fundamentals. Um, today's the first time we saw us just a bit off in that space. Did you back them in to fix that again, or was there a couple yeah. of changes from this NFL yesterday that you'd look at, or how do you balance that up, I guess? I haven't, haven't really thought about where to from here with the group we'll, we'll sort of I guess lick our wounds a bit from today and yeah we were really disappointed in the room that it was one that we felt 
you know, we had our chances in. Um, changes wise, we'll have a look at the side and we'll try and find what will, will keep us at the level. Um, but again, it's training really. It's it's going away and working on you know the little things. The stuff sometimes it's the stuff you take for granted when you set a play up nicely, like I said, and you finish it off well. We we sort of move on and we go to the next thing. Today we we let ourselves down. Well, again, in that kind of you know hybrid role, um, that centre bounce to start with for a couple of quarters. How did how do you find his game today? How do you find kind of the evolution? Yeah, I, I I thought he showed some stuff again today. I thought he fought really well around the footy. Um, it's going to be something he continues to work on. Um, you know, it's not not an easy thing to just go straight back in and, and take on, as you mentioned, Monday in there and Fife. And, um, so he'll continue to work on his game. Uh, you know, we're, we're getting him forward of the ball as well, so he's getting his opportunity ahead of the footy. I think it's a, it's, a, um, it's a nice asset for him to have, you know, to have the ability to play in and around the footy, but also play as a key forward at times. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm pleased with the way he's working. He's like it, like like our whole team. We've got stuff we're working on. We've got to get better. We'll continue to work on getting better. Fogs, Fogs in that position. This time, I think he looked a bit cramping pretty badly at the end when he um, went back yeah. and hit that goal. Um, I mean, is yeah. it part of you know getting him to a level of fitness where he can run the game out around the ball? Yeah, and and educating around when there are opportunities he can go harder, when he can conserve his energy. And again, that's experience. That's something I don't have a jar of in my drawer, but we work with him on, um, you know, different opportunities. Um, there are times to not rest, but there are times to recover and, and work. And the, the experienced players, the experienced mids in the competition, they know when to do that. So we'll keep working with him. Um, I'd still like to see him at the level. I think he's, he's got something to add. I think on the bigger picture, the defensive system's getting better now. They've never worked out a way to... Get defence better. If you look at it, the score from today, you'd probably think possibly. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a grind today, so both sides struggled to really pile the score on. Um, yeah, and it's it's not. It's probably more about what teams are doing with the footy. Um, yeah, I thought I thought Frio t in the first half. I thought they were reasonably straight line with the footy and didn't take too many chances. You know that can that can sort of limit score, and then we let ourselves down. As I said before, where we felt like we had those opportunities to to probably put more score on the scoreboard, that then changes the game. Whereas when we don't, um, you know, both teams sort of sit in that almost in between mode. Are we gonna are we gonna attack here? Or are we gonna have to turn it on? And yeah, I don't know about working out the new rules. I think we've we've sort of looked through that. Kick-ins have been the interesting one. Most teams have. Sort of had a look at those with that extra 15 metres, um, you know whether it's whether it's take it on down the middle or, or try and maintain the ball. I thought today we probably went a little bit too short at times, and we could have taken them on a bit more. But that's an, again another work on for us. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.